Unboxing. When you receive your PHT140, use two people to lift the product out of the box and lay it on the floor. Apply the brake, lift the machine up, pull fold wheel lever and swing fold wheel until lever pops back in. Turn on the machine, it is now ready to use. Raise the jib off the ground by pressing the up switch on the right handle. The PHT140 has three main sub-assemblies that make up the unit. The jib, the mainframe, and the actuator assembly. The jib has the facility to hold a hook and a tilt head, which is used with the forklift and the strap frame. You should always inspect the machine before use to ensure there is no damage to any parts or no obvious rivets or screws missing. Read the stickers and the instruction manual along with this training video to get a full overview of the product before use. Machine Principle As the operator lifts their hands, you can see the jib rotates around the main wheels, moving forward creating reach, essentially allowing you to move the hook forwards and backwards. As you do this, the balance of the load changes on the hands of the user. More reach means more upward load on the hands. Less reach, then more downward load on the hands. Finding the balance point of each load gives the ultimate control to the operator. The jib can lift the hook to a height of 1.9 meters off the ground, and the machine can lift up to 140 kilograms or 308 pounds. Go over the main safety points on the screen. One, always keep hands on handles when machine is loaded. Two, always keep the wheels stationary while raising or lowering the load. Three, Always have the load at low heights when moving across the ground. 4. Always use the brakes when engaging or disengaging the load at height. Hook Mechanism The hook works similar to a C-hook where it starts off horizontally and can easily be placed inside the lifting hole and when load is applied it swings vertically supporting the load into the bottom of the hook. The hook also has a slide out safety latch that can be used if this is required for safety although it turns the one person operation into a two person operation as the second person has to slide the catch while the user holds the machine. You can remove the hook by pushing the locking pin on the underside of the nose link. This allows you to remove the hook for transport and when using other attachments. The hook has a second tilt action. This is used when it's folded flat. The hook can get out of the way when the machine is tilted and stored vertically. Break. The purpose of the brake is for the following reasons. One, general storage so the machine doesn't roll away. Two, when raising or lowering loads into position, the brake allows you to have greater control from the handles by ensuring the wheels don't slip away. The brake has a locking function. Just pull the brake lever back and it will lock. Once locked, your hands are free to tilt the PHT and pick up or unload the load. To unlock the PHT, pull the brake lever and press the top trigger, which will allow the lever to spring back into the unlocked position. Picking up a load. Before attempting to pick up the load, confirm the following points. 1. The path you wish to take is clear from all obstructions. 2. The path is flat. Any sloping ground will reduce the stability of the machine and be dangerous. 3. The load is no heavier than 140 kilograms or 308 pounds. 4. The lifting point on the load is strong enough to take the weight of the load. It is important to plan your execution, that is ensuring the PHT has room to roll up to the lifting point and the hook can come close to the lifting point without lifting the hands up too high. So approach the machine where possible on the side where the lifting point is closest to the edge of the equipment. Picking an object off the ground. The operation steps to picking up a load are 1. Place the hook into the lifting point of the load. 2. Apply the brakes. 3. Take the weight of the load. 4. Raise the jib using the switch on the right handle. 5. Unbrake and roll away. The hook swivels very easily, so the complete hook operation can be handled from the user at the handle end of the PHT. Always keep your hands lower than your chest. This is a very important rule because as the handles move higher than this point, the load becomes heavier and it moves further away from the front wheels. That is, the leverage has reduced and the load on the handles becomes higher. Picking an object from height. When you have to lift a piece of equipment from height, you follow the same procedures as from the ground. 
but the jib will be a lot higher and you may need to lift the handles to extend the jib out, that is, give it reach. This extension can increase the load to the user and you will need to be aware of this. As soon as you have the object in your control, back the load away from the platform and lower it to a balanced load position. Putting down a load. When unloading, follow the following steps. 1. Lower the load close to the ground. 2. Apply the brakes. 3. Lift the hand slightly to ensure the load clears the front wheels. 4. Lower the jib with the switch until the load is safe on the ground. 5. Remove the hook and wheel away from the load. Charging. The voltmeter has a red and green section on the screen. As soon as the meter moves into the red section of the screen, then the machine needs charging. To charge the unit, plug in the electrical cord and press charge on the switch. Charging time is about three hours for a full charge. When finished, make sure the cord is placed back into the clip that holds it. Storage and transport. When storing the unit, you can do any of the following. One, usage position. Lower the jib and store the product on its four wheels. Two, stored flat against a wall. Lower the jib, apply the brake, lift up and collapse the fold wheel frame so that the PHT becomes flat. It can now be stored against a wall or on the ground. 3. Transport. Lower the jib, apply the brake, lift up and collapse the fold wheel frame so that the PHT becomes flat. It can lean on the back of a ute or van and the user can move to the lower wheels and slide the unit onto a truck, ute or van. It can be transported against the headboard, flat on the tray or on its edge. Attachments. Forklift tilt head. Types of loads the forklift can handle. 1. Loads under 140 kilograms. 2. Loads that have a load centre no greater than 400 millimetres and the load must be centralised. 3. Loads that allow the forklift slippers to slide under the load or pallet. 1. Remove hook attachment. 2. Make sure the safety catch is pulled in before attempting to assemble the tilt head. 3. Pick up the forklift as shown with one hand on the handle and the other on the base of the tilt head. 4. Line up the bearings with the guide in the tilt head and slide the tilt head up. Once it passes the last bearing, it should stay in position and allow the user to release the safety catch. Then move over to the handles of the machine and on the left handle, switch press the up arrow. This will start tilting the head. When picking up a load, lower the tilt head to about 10 centimeters off the top of the tilt head. Then travel towards the load and lift the handles as you slide the forklift irons under the load. When the load hits the backboard of the tilt head, you can then lower your hands and the PHT will slightly lift the load off the ground. Then you can lift the jib whilst at the same time tilt the tilt head to ensure the load stays level and raise the load off the ground for moving it around. The tilt head rotates using the up and down switch on the left handle. When unloading, lower the load close to the ground and then tilt the tilt head so that it's at the end of its travel. Circuit breaker. If the load on the tilt head is too heavy or off center, it can overload the motor. If this happens, wait five seconds, then reset the circuit breaker. Strap frame. The strap frame is a universal lifting tool that allows most objects to be strapped to it and lifted using the PHT. Modify the forklift so that the tines swap sides and are bolted on vertically. Place the load onto the strap frame. Use the strap to secure the load. Lower the tilt head to about 10 centimeters off the top of the tilt head. Push the PHT into the strap frame so the tines line up with the side plates. Then once underneath the tabs, lift the jib and you can take the weight of the frame and load and lift it off the ground. When lowering the load, ensure the strap frames are horizontal. Place the load on the ground and then lower the jib to remove the tines from the side tabs of the strap frame.